cleaning up now these these dados for the uh, false bottom. I use my little router plane for these. Again, I want to stop short of the uh, far back. So I've got a channel now. I've got the, the actual bottom and then a dado that the false bottom is going to slide into. Uh, I've got, uh, of course, mirror images on the two sides. Now we're getting somewhere. So if I look on the side, right, there's a, this is the front. I look on the inside. There's my bottom. Uh, it's it's shallow. It's it, you know it's not the full depth, but I think it's deep enough that the illusion will be that it's full depth. And uh, now if I slide open the back, slide this up. There's my magic magic compartment. Now the last thing I've got to do is that obviously I have to I have to join this back somehow. I have to glue it in place. And I, if I glue the back in, then I can't slide this up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quarter inch piece of uh, material and we're going to um, fasten it right here. So it's not going to go down past this back. It's going to go you know, basically right in here. And, uh, and then we'll fasten that from the side. And then for that, and it won't go all the way to the top either. It'll start maybe an inch down. So it'll just you know, be in this area. And that's what will hold the back together. It'll fasten it. It'll be there permanently. And then this piece, then we'll, wherever that is, we will wrap it out on the back for that. And the back then will slide in and out. But this new piece that we put in there will hold it permanently together. I just want to again repeat this. Um, if you look on the inside of the box, now you see that joint right there that I was talking about. If I had to do this again, I probably would um, build this uh, fixed piece out of the same grain matched uh, as this uh, move sliding piece because it's pretty easy to see that there's two pieces of wood here. But I'm going to leave it uh, and we'll, we'll put some walnut uh, hull juice on there and hopefully uh, even those out. But um, let's see if I can slide this. It's not glued together so it's going to want to kind of come apart. but. Um, you'll get the idea. So we'll slide that up. And now you see the, the hidden drawer, or the you know, hidden cubby in there. I'll make a, I'll make a simple dro dovetail drawer to slide in there. And uh, from the inside, uh, you, you see now that gap between these two boards. And when it's closed, you don't really notice that there's anything in there. But when it's open, you do. And then this is that that piece. So it's it's a you know it's a fairly complex piece, right? We've got a little notch out on the corner so that it slides in the dado, and then we've got a big um, a big rabbit out of this thing so that it uh, can move in and out without kind of, it can slide in and out here while this piece remains fixed. So at this point now I'm going to glue this together, and I um, will just to summarize. I will uh, go ahead and put. I've got some square toothpicks. Uh, again, you can get these from Legos. Uh, literally, I just I'm going to take a bench chisel and uh, here's one I've got cut off. Uh, I cut off the very tip of this thing so that it's not, you know, here, be more clear. These things have sharp points on them and that won't hold much. So I kind of take a bench chisel and whack off the tip, but I leave a little bit of the bevel on there. Then I'll come through and I'll drill holes in the side put glue on the end of these things and drive them in. And that'll be my nail effectively, but it'll be out of wood. Um, and the bottom in this case, um, normally I let these things float and uh, just put a, uh, a nail, effectively a nail with, this, with these toothpicks um, right through the bottom. You can even use iron if you want. In this particular case, I'm probably going to glue this. Uh, well, uh, you know, I don't have to make that decision right now. I'll see how stable this is once the whole drawer is glued together. I'll also, uh, but, but I, ideally I think I will put some glue in there to hold it in place. And then I'll also put in these uh, wooden nails at the bottom of this piece, attaching it to the, 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 the false bottom. So that's a summary of this center drawer, the most complicated drawer in the whole piece. 
And I think if you can do this, you can do any of the other Go over ones. the drawer styles. At the beginning, I said there were three different uh, types of drawer styles, and there's actually fourth, three that I used here, and I'll, I'll go over a fourth one, um, that we, that we uh, constructed, that we used to construct drawers. So if I slide down this back, you know the, the compartment that we put up on top, and you watch the fabrication of this drawer. Just wanted to show you how it turned out. First of all, you can put these little leather, see, I've got a knot inside here, it's right here. It's a little leather pull, just sticks forward so that you've got a way to get the drawer in and out easily. Uh, here's a, an example of those um, square toothpicks used to fasten the drawer bottom to the side. And um, now in this particular, I didn't actually go over this in, in video, but you notice that, at least on the sides here, you don't see the drawer, right? On the back, you do. You can see the drawer bottom on the back, right here. It's going to be a little hard to see. But, uh, so I had a dado on three sides. And I slid the, slid the bottom in and then tacked it with these um, toothpicks. But, if you flip it over on the inside, you see that the, the drawer is sitting, it's not really in a dado, it's sitting in a, in a, in a rabbit. And um, I, I basically constructed that rabbit using the same trick we did for that sliding back on the center drawer where I just took the, um, the knife marking gauge and scribed on, on, you know, scribed on the bottom and then flipped this thing and came in from the side and basically cut that out with a knife. So uh, that's the method that I used to attach this bottom is to basically put it, put it inside a rabbit on three sides. I could have put it on all four sides. But basically, uh, it's glued in place. You don't see it from the sides. So that's method one. You see the dovetail. Um, and uh, from the back, you see the bottom that was slid in place. That's one method. Uh, then we have this hidden drawer that we, uh, that we fabricated the other day. And, and again, you can see those toothpick fasteners that I've got along the sides. Right? It's on both sides. So that's... Uh, you know, this thing was really nothing more than a sandwich, right? You can see the center piece, it was glued together and then fastened with those toothpicks. And then again, I've got that little leather uh, pull. So that just slides right in here. So that's drawer construction technique two and also hidden drawer two. Uh, now, and then we've got our standard drawer, which we just finished up, which is basically constructed with a, uh, a sliding bottom um, that, much like the uh, that, much like the raised panel door, has has a, a small little rabbit or small little dado, and then a beveled bottom. Uh, you can see the beveled edge, right, and, and on the front as well, and that slides in that little dado. And then we already went over this hidden drawer uh, inside. So hidden drawer number three, and also drawer construction technique three. So here we've got the half blind uh, dovetails on the front. We've got uh, some tacked in sides that will hold in that, that's, that, that uh, back that you can't see in, unless you lift up the sacrificial back. So that's sort of drawer construction technique uh, three. Now. Drawer construction technique four, again, just has through dovetails on the back. It's fixed. There's no hidden compartments. That's, pretty, that's just a deviation on this. The other, another typical way for small drawers is, now I pulled this off of a different piece, but here you can see that the, I've dovetailed the front, I've dovetailed the back, and then literally I just glued the bottom uh, uh, around, I just glued the bottom onto the sides. So it's not put in rabbits, it's not slid in a dado, it's just glued in place. It's a fairly narrow drawer, I'm not worried about expansion. I can come through and tack these things with the toothpicks. Um, but that's, you'll see that on, um, on old case pieces. If you look in the Spice Box book, there's examples of this very uh, drawer construction technique in the Spice Box book.